That is why I love these QTX tweeters. Look at that. Um, 1500 hertz up to 20 kilohertz within a couple of dB. It's just beautiful. Yep, that makes life so much easier and we can play it quite low. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping I can cross to the woofer at about 1800, 1500 maybe. Um, let's see what we can do. There ain't no need to go outside. Ain't no need, ain't no need. Right, I think we're about done with the crossover design. Um, one thing I wanted to try and do was retain the original air core inductor on the woofer circuit that I've managed to do. Um, it's a decent gauge, it's copper. So yeah, I've just um, used it as a second order um, low pass. So um, the DC resistance of our new woofer is lower. So um, yeah, that's probably helped me out a little bit rather than having to go with a larger inductor. So second order, um, 12 microfarad cap. Can't remember the value of that. And then to make the tweeter work with it, um, I've got an eight ohm resistor and a third order high pass. 8 ohm resistor, it's, it's quite large um, because the output from our woofer is lower than you'd probably want, but it's still good. Um, I think sensitivity of this speaker is probably going to end up being... Let me have a quick look. Around 86, something like that. Which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, so third order high pass. So we've got a 5.6 microfarad. And we come to an inductor down to ground, which is 0.47 millihenry, so fairly large. We continue on to a 3.3 microfarad, and then off to our tweeter, which is connected in phase. So third order tweeter, second order woofer. Um, I'll put the measurements up shortly, but um, yeah, this is where we are. Um, I always try and work in this little dip around 2k. Um, you've probably seen that in some of my others. It just, um, it's like the BBC dip. That's what I like listening to. Um, it just gets rid of any aggressive um, kind of mid-range vocals that you might um, experience. If the speaker's going to be shouty, it's going to be an issue in that, that region, the 1 to 3 kHz region. Um, so I like to soften it down a little bit. Um, yeah, so really from about 200 hertz up to, what's that, 18 kilohertz, we are plus minus 2, 2.5 two dB, which is good. Lumps and bumps down here are just the room. I haven't really bothered too much with the room treatment, but um, really pleased with that. So I'll put these measurements up properly. I'm just going to do some off-axis now and see right, where One we're of at. the reasons it pays to do your off-axis measurements, because remember you don't, listen to the speaker as a stereo pair on axis so the horizontal and vertical are quite important to me probably the 20 degree horizontal and the 10 degree vertical is um, really where I think the speaker should be in its uh, sweet spot really um, and what I've ended up having to do when I go uh, above tweeter about 10 degrees um, we do that dip I've worked in develops uh, further, probably a bit too much. So the on the third order tweeter circuit, the 3.3 I had, which is the second capacitor, I've changed for a 5.6. So we've got two 5.6s with an inductor in the middle. And that's helped. Perfect. So, yeah, very pleased with that. And I've listened to it. Um, and it sounds bloody good. Uh, male voices are really good. There's a lot of lot of body to them. Um, so I'm going to do some near field bass measurements because I these seem to be quite bassy. Um, obviously they've got a port there which I've not mucked around with. I've just put our woofer in there. Um, but yeah, I'm getting good bass. So I think um, I'll do some near field measurements on the woofer and see what sort of bass response we get because I, I can't obviously measure too low in here um, the room affects it I'm already um, the automatic gating that kicks in on Roo is about 224 Hertz so I can't measure accurately below that but there we go so I'll do that and stick the pictures up at the end okay
Cheers. Right, so I put these together. Didn't bother um, filming it. Um, yeah, third order on our tweeter. So in through a resistor, through a cap, through another cap out to our tweeter, uh, inductor down to ground. Then on the woofer, in through this inductor, uh, out to our woofer, and then this cap down to ground. So second order on the woofer, third order on the uh, tweeter. Simple. And that's obviously gone on the back of the original binding post or original binding crossover plate. Long day. Um, yeah, so the other one's done there as well. Simple as that. <laughs>